Hello friends, this is Agnes. Today I'm going to make a transparent greeting card. So for this I am going to use a transparent digitate or the OHP sheet. So this is an A4 size sheet so I'm going to cut it into half and then fold it to make a card base. I take my scoring board and, and score it at the center to make it half. I use the bone folder to crease it. It should be done on both the sides to make it stand perfectly flat. This sheet is 100 microns but you could also get something like 300 micron which will be even more stiffer. Now I take a cardstock that is of the same width so it is easy to cut. And then I'm going to cut them into four pieces that are about four centimeters wide. Now I am taking one of the pieces and put double sided tape on it and I'm going to join them at the base of the card. These double sided tapes works well with acetate. But when you turn it to the back side you can see the marks of the double sided tape. So to cover that I will be adding another similar sheet on the back side of the acetate. I will be doing the same with the back side of the card base. In the inner side we can write our message to the recipient. On the top side of the card I am going to make some quilling. Make a loose coil and then press them as shown in the video to make leaf like elements. You will be needing about 11 or 12 similar pieces and then glue them down to the paper of about 5 or 6 pieces in the form of a flower. So this will be the first layer. For the next layer of the flower you can add the elements in between the previous two quilled elements. So now we can get two layers of the flower. The quilling part is done and now I add a Merry Christmas sentiment from a sticker set. You can instead write it down or print it out or use a stamp to stamp the sentiment in. You can use a ruler or a piece of paper to make the sentiment straight. I'm using a piece of cardstock over it and press it down using some object to make it stick perfectly. Now I use some 3D outliner. This is pearl color for the pollens of the flower. I also add random dots over the acetate to make it look even more better. You should wait at least for a day for this part to dry. So put the greeting card safe in a place where it is not disturbed and when it is dry we are completed with our card. Though this design is really simple it is so beautiful and fun to make. Hope you will also give a try on this type of card. Thanks for watching.